Welcome back to Paranorma Site. We've now reached an impasse in the plot. Nejima's escaped, we don't know where he's going. Hare Shigama's investigation is kind of slowing down to a crawl. And the high school girls are about to meet up with uh, some folks at the high school, and well, it's uh, they're not letting us go any further than there. Darkness. Now it's time to go into darkness with whoever this mystery person is. I'm sure you've been dying just thinking about what this could be about. Haihaku soaps. Uh huh. With who? With uh huh. I don't know. It's a thing. It's a thing. Let's go. It's in the factory. It's in the factory. Unknown. Time unknown. Unknown person. Unknown location. Mm. Ah, my head. Oh. What? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, I see Haihaku. Yeah. Did I hit my head? It's killing me. My vision is all blurry. Is that the ceiling? Through the cold floor against my back. I must have fallen to something. Let's get up! Uh, huh? My body won't move. Why? Sleep paralysis. Why am I on the floor in the first place? No. Hold on. More importantly, who am I? Oh, God. Uh, let's let's try to remember. Okay, think, think. Try to remember something, anything. Murder, resurrection, kill, revenge. No! Ha! Feels like my head's gonna split apart. What? Uh, what was that? The man's face. I think I've seen it before. I think I'm sure I know it. What was that man's name? Oh God. Uh. You remember? Are they going by last name or first They're name? Going by first name. No, it's not poop. It's not poo poo. <laughs> uh, I. I. Oh, come on! I actually knew this. Hajime! There we go! There you go. Hajime. Hajime Yoshimi. That's it! I know that name! The dark mist obscuring my memories is slowly starting to clear! Ah, my head is hurting again! Ah! He looks like Kuwabara. <laughs> Kuwabara. What was that? A memory of mine? Hajime and I. I think we were close. But the first thing I saw, he was dead. Did I? So what kind of person am I? His fiance? Get up. Huh. I can move again. And I think my head is starting to clear. Hmm. Uh, the heck? What the fuck yep. am mirror. I? Mirror. Mirror. Looks, looks like I'm in some kind of warehouse. Maybe I can find some clues as to what happened. Just take a look around. So we can come. We can come back anytime. Like when it when it opened, we could have been like, oh, what's what's in here? But then we wouldn't have gotten too far, and we can suspend it anytime. But now we're at a point where we can do everything in this chapter and move forward. So you're right. Let's look in the mirror and see who we are. There's a key to the sink. Ah. If I can use this to see what I look like, it might help me remember who I am! Uh, no good. This mirror is completely unusable with all the grime that's built up on it. How convenient. I wonder if I could clean it somehow. I can't wait for the end of this and it's just another trailer for Silent Hills. Uh, d could I get like a, a, a quick sting that goes like, uh... <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! All right, love it. Okay, so let's uh, do yeah. You have sixty minutes. S oh shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh all right. So over here. probably just checking two, everything. Yeah, three, cardboard boxes, two. gasoline. Oh, oh yeah. All right. What's this? What's this? The label's been torn off, but this must be soap. There's quite a bit left inside. Let's take the soap. Take the soap. Got oh soap. hey, clean the mirror. Probably need a rag in order to clean it off, huh? 
Or just use your hands. Should not just putting soap on the mirror wouldn't do anything. Need something to wipe it with. Oh, of course. Adventure game logic. All right. Uh, anything in the lockers? Let's open the left one here. Okay. It's a bucket and a mop in the left locker. I guess that's where they were keeping the cleaning stuff. Oh, I might be able to use these cleaning supplies. Yeah, I can fill the bucket with soap and use the mop to clear away most of the grime. There you go. Soapy mop. Here soapy we go mop with acquired. The soapy mop. A soapy mop into the mirror. Here we go. It's a soapy mop. I should be able to clean the mirror with this. <laughs> Oh, clean in one swipe. Soap is pretty good. I'll have to remember this brand. I was right. Hello. Whoa, I'm hot! Huh. So this is what I look like. Right. Yeah, this is me. I know this face. Uh, something, something doesn't, doesn't feel, feel right. right. Something's missing. My name. I can't remember my name. Need to figure out what my name is. Uh, 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 Haku Soaps. Uh, uh, Soapy Soap. D uh, uh. Recall? Maybe you should think real hard. Yeah, recall. I need my name. Uh. Oh, wait. We can answer this. Wait, hang on. Uh, yeah. It what? I'm QQ? No, 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 right. no, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Know what I look like, except I have to remember my name. All right. Okay. Yeah. I thought we need to recall something. But do you know her name? Do you remember? We've heard it. I we've know. Said it. Do you remember? It's not Ayame, is it? No. no. It's not Ayame. It's also not Poo Poo. <laughs> okay. This is Hajime's girlfriend, and I don't remember her name. Uh, Mary. <laughs> my, 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 you, my, you, my, you, Chazawa. I haven't heard it. Yes, that's definitely it. Such a long time. My name is Mayu Chazawa. Mysterious woman, Mayu Chazawa. My name is Mayu Chizawa. Uh, and may I saw my memories. Hajime Yoshimi is my fiance. I killed him accidentally. Uh, wait. What I saw is from my past. And Hajime's... No. Um, Hajime could never be killed so easily. There must be some kind of mistake. Knowing him, he's probably worked himself into a frenzy looking for me. I have to get out of here and let him know that I'm okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Now the groom really begins, now that we have a drive to get out. Okay. So the entire time she would just be thinking, "Ah, oh, this is kind of roomy in here. Maybe I just want to stay here." Oh, the light's actually on. It's just dim as hell. Cause there's dirt on the bulb. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> ah! Look at that. Ah! Now things are slightly dim. Should have an easier time searching now. I just hope I can actually find something. What can we find here? There's a book on the floor next to the sink. Uh, there's a book. It's a manga. A manga. It's a manga magazine. Weekly Shonen Scorpion. I think Hajime used to read this. Huh. Oh, come on. There's plenty of time to reminisce. It's not now. Uh, there's a Zora scale over next to the trash. All right. Let me look at my notes here. There's a lot to take in here. Okay. Steel shelf, maybe? We got the shelf over here, we got a cabinet over here, there's a desk over here, more lockers, a chair, a trash can, sink, and... What the hell's that? The Zora scale. Some on the floor here. Hello. Is this here all along? I had no idea. A lantern carved out of wood? It's just kind of creepy. She is a curse bearer. Something about this feels different than all the other abandoned junk in here. The beckoning light. Yes. Remember that that uh, curse echo we saw by the bridge? It was picked up at the exact same time we noticed it. Oh no! Wait, it, it's active. Ah! Here it is. What is this? I'm sorry. Forgive me. Ah, such terrible regret. A resentful memory is flowing into my mind. Evil ones. The curse bearers. 
kill them all by their own bane. Thick Black Taw? Thick Black Taw? You can use to kill curse bearers with their own curses. <gasps> Ooh. So, nuh uh, nuh uh, you. Yeah, exactly. The you Uno curse. reverse card curse. Yeah. The Uno reverse curse. Oh my god. Yeah! Murderous impulse seeps into my soul like Thick Black Taw! And. You're cursed, hooray. But da 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 You're <sighs> cursed. <sighs> Whoa, shit. I remember now. I remember everything. I know why I was brought here. That's right. Earlier. Flashback time. Flashback time. <sighs> oh, I feel sick. Where? Where am I? But, but, yes, that is correct. We finally have a confession. Mm -hmm. So it's talking on the phone. Oh mm -hmm. God! Not quite so. Truth it serum. Oh boy. Truth serum! <laughs> I'm glad this is all in her head in italics. You drug me with something? Something like truth serum? I ain't no stool pigeon. He did it. Oh, something behind me. Oh. Doesn't seem like there's any way to. Hmm. Can't move. Maybe I hop ah! soap. Hi. You're awake. Your head must be beginning to clear right about now. You... Attack me! Shit, you tricked me! Such a harsh accusation. It was you who was being uncooperative. What did you do to me? What was that about a truth serum? I assure you, you have nothing to worry about. You are in no danger. That being said, there may be some side effects. Memory loss, brain fog... It was you! You were the one who hurt Hajime! Try all you want, I'm not telling you shit! No matter, I already have everything I need. What? I'm in the middle of a call with the chairwoman. Why don't you have a rest while you can? Or while you wait? Hey, stop. Get away from me! <laughs> Alright, so he is a murderous bastard. Noice. Uh, uh. <coughs> uh. So conscious. If only barely concentrate, focus on Takumi. And the only information I can glean from this conversation. Yeah, Pan up. Uh, uh, ugh. Correct. She does not seem to know where the. Rajime Oshimi was the same. Yes. It was unexpected. Oh, you really did do something to Hajime? No. Oh. Damn it, I'm fading. <laughs> oh, that was close. Uh, I have to keep listening. Raishi? Yes. 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 Uh, I can't. Just a little more. Uh, uh. Yes, as long as we keep her in here, the curse will. Yes, she will certainly want to bring back her dead fiance. Is he talking about me? Uh, uh, come on. Come on, come, come on. on, whatever my name is. <laughs> uh, anything I can learn. Anything I can learn. Uh, 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 yes, I will be leaving her here. I'll take the telephone with me. And yes, that is in the cabinet. It should pose no problem. Yes, I have changed the lock. The year of the company found me. Oh, I can't. Oh, hold on any longer. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
That's right, I didn't remember who I am, but now I remember who I am. And now I remember what I was doing when I was here, so what now? I've remembered everything. Man, is Takami Yumiyoko of Hihaku Sugs. He showed up at my hair salon about a month ago. He came to ask me to try the new shampoo they made. We spoke about it again a few weeks later, but... Oh, what's in the shampoo bottle? Oh, balaclava? <laughs> he suddenly started asking me about my fiancé. I remember thinking that was pretty weird. Yahaku was a huge company, so I tried to be polite and answered all these questions. He wanted to know what kind of family Hajime came from. If there was anything special about him or if he was at anything. Ooh. I thought it was so strange. I didn't give him any specifics. Hmm. And then that night... He never came to the place we agreed to meet. So I went to where he said he'd be going, the former Yasuda Gardens. That's where I found his dead body. I was so distraught I just ran away. I didn't want to believe what I was seeing. After that, I decided to put all my hopes in that rite of resurrection everyone was talking about. I searched desperately for anything I could find about the seven mysteries of Honjo. And then... Takumi showed up again. He told me that he knew something about how Hajime died. I thought I would just act interested in what he had to say, but I fell for it completely. Uh, Next thing I knew, I was locked up in this room. Pumped full of drugs and left here on the floor, barely even conscious. I spent the night dreaming of him, praying for a chance at the rite of resurrection. And at midnight last night, I got the curse of the beckoning light. Between the drugs and the curse, I passed out. That must be why I lost my memory. But now I remember everything. It was Hihaku. They went after Hajime. They put me in here. Noted. Me likey. I was wondering where the other curse bearer was. Hmm. Why do they have to kill him? Was that Hihaku's doing too? What could they have wanted with him? I knew his job was dangerous, but why would a company like that go after an officer in the juvenile division? Ah, I get it now. All that about the shampoo was just to get to Hajime. Hmm. Uh -huh. <sighs> Hajime. You were always the kind of guy who could shoulder any burden with a smile on your face. What burden were you carrying this time? You targeted by a company that's more than willing to kidnap and drug people. Is it something you couldn't tell even me? All for a tissue. No. Takumi said he'd gotten some kind of information out of me using the drug. Could I have had Hajime's secrets somewhere in my memories? Hmm. I did. What could it have been? Did Hajime tell me something? Oh, whatever it is, just let me say one thing. Fuck you, Hihaku! I'm not about <laughs> to let any of this go the way you want! Screw your shampoo, screw your fancy yeah. soaps! That's right. I fucking love Mayu. It's up to me to protect any secret that Hajime was trying to hide. I'll finish whatever it is he didn't get a chance to. After all... It's always been up to me to clean up your messes. It's okay. Whatever you got yourself involved in, I'm sure you had good reason. We're gonna take them for all they got. Just you wait and see. And beckoning like, beckoning like, beckoning like. No, 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 no! no. All right, it's about time I got out of this dump. All right, we need a combo to the door, as well as a. Uh, there was something it's in the cabinets, cabinets here we yeah, gotta look at first. Cabinet straight out of an office. Let's see what if I slide this open. And the cook we got nothing. nothing. The drawer starting from top. Nope, totally empty. And how about the one that's locked? Eh? This last drawer, it's different from the others. There's a padlock ah. with a four-digit combination. Oh yeah, Takami said something about this. He said he put something in here and locked it. There's probably something in here. Should I try my luck with the lock? If we want to know the number, can we check the soap bottle? I'm checking uh, if there's anything in the files here, like uh, Culture Society, maybe mm, like Soap. Soaps. Soaps. Da, da, 1946. Aha. 1946. How about that? Cool. Oh. Huh. That was weird. How would, she, <laughs> how, how would she know this? But hey, here you go. This is the number, lady. One. Nineteen. Nine, Forty. Six. six. There you go. All right. I hope she questions it. How did yep. Hikaku was established suddenly appear in my mind? 
Yes. I had an idea when it might have been, but did I really get that lucky? Now that I think about it, there's definitely something different in the air here. This is another side effect of the drug or something else. Well, it doesn't matter right now. I should see what's in here. It's all the power of the morphogenetic field. What is this thing? Well, I guess I might as well pull it out. <laughs> and oh. it looks like a sort of phone, but there's no receiver. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I know! This is a fax machine! I've seen commercials for these on TV! This is how it connects to the other cases? If I remember correctly, it's used to send copies of documents to the other people who have one. What an age we live in where we can send letters and things with I hate fax machines! I fucking hate fax machines! I can get info to people without a telephone. Yes! Connect the power in the phone line. Okay, who to send it to? Well, we gotta find something to send, too. We can't just go... Fax! Hello, fax. Yeah, send Morse code over a fax machine. Paper in the cabinet. Need a pen to write with. Need a phone number for a fax machine to send it to. Hmm... So what to do about that? Maybe she is in the morphogenetic field. All right. First off, we look at the desk. Yep. Type of what? Typical office desk. This is all kinds of stationery on here. Is anything that looks usable? Got a pen. Yo. And we can write a message. Pen acquired. Well, I better check that it actually works. Can we just start drawing on the wall? Uh, let's see. Items. Pen. Check it out. No more base pen. The pen tip is totally dry. Won't be able to write anything like this. I wonder if I could fix it somehow. <laughs> hey, did you know that you can fix pens with nail polish remover? Oh my god, I think I hear a rookie detective telling me about this. Huh? Huh? You can fix this with nail polish remover? What the- Why did that pop in my head all of a sudden? Well, might as well give it a try. This is one of Hihaku's warehouses. There might just be some nail polish remover somewhere. Hmm. Uh, in the locker? Uh, let's see. Uh... Trash can? It's, uh... Cardboard boxes, actually, where those are at. Right oh, there. Oh, here they are. Okay. Wasn't these cardboard boxes again? I ah, disposed bottles and soap. I wonder if there could be... Aha! Uh -huh! Nail polish remover. There's no label, but I'm sure that's what it is. Oh, yep, yep. Tastes that's what, just that's like what that is. Alright, so if I use the... <clears throat> Giving me the rumbly tumblies. Let's make sure it works. Alright. Items. Pen. Well, I mean, do I use the nail pol- I use the nail polish remover, I mean. Yup. Okay, fine. Use, use on, on pen. pen. There we go. Alright. <laughs> use! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just mash things together and it just works. It just works. Alright. Well, now we need a number. Hmm. Pen and some paper, and I need a phone number I can send a fax to. Do I have anywhere that has a fax machine? Hmm, let's look in our files again. There's nothing in our files, I mean, about a fax machine. We need to. Okay, Are you okay, hang sure? on. Let's get out of here. So let me just check something real quick. I just, uh -huh. Let me just uh, go. Yeah, what are we gonna to go to check? Yeah, yeah right here, here, over to Haraway's okay. place. Oh my gosh, that's kind of crazy. It's there insane that we can go back to our own residence. residence. Oh, gee, what happens to be my fax number? Do, 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 do. It even zooms in on the fax machine. Hmm. Can I just check my fax machine for a second? You can send images to other places on your telephone network. The fax machine. The number on the home is 63. Ma'am, is everything okay? I'm fine. There's just something I wanted to check. Is that so? Right. Anyway, so it's finished investigation here. Oh, this is great. All the knowledge. I wonder if they're able to contact each other via the stones. That would just be lovely. <laughs> 63 and the then number, Morse code. Yeah, this is the number. Oh, hey. Happened again! The number for a fax machine just popped into my head! What the fuck? No. Oh. There's no way all this information is coming from my own brain. Could someone be sending me their thoughts? Never mind, I have to focus! Let's get this message sent! I saw that. Now, I need to tell them where I am. If I tell them everything I know about this place, they should be able to figure out where it is. 
First, I know I'm in a building owned by Hihaku, a factory or a warehouse. As for the address, it could be close to... Uh, it's being held where, uh, near the location? It should be that bridge area. Uh, uh right there. To Honji Bridge. Yep. Ta -da! That's right, my curse echo was the beckoning light. That means this place must be near Hoanji Bridge. All right, time to send it. Uh, I think this is how you do it. All right. The machine I sent to is connected. It should be sent. Now I wait. Please, somebody. And now, we escape. Out of my brain. And back to where we were to receive said facts. Holy shit, Mrs. Shigima! Something's activating! And there it is again. And... Yup. Oh. The phones. Be my guest. You wouldn't want to keep them waiting. Thank you. I shouldn't be long. Moshi Moshi. Hello, Shigima residents. Oh, it wasn't the phone. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. It was just the fax machine. I'm still not quite used to it. Oh, this is a fax machine? Amazing! So this is how they look. This is incredible! Goodbye to snail mail, am I right? This is the future! This was hinted at in episode 3. Amazing. I didn't think it would excite you so much. Oh, oh! Something came out! Is it finished? I can watch this thing all day! Huh? Hmm, what is this? It looks like it was written in pen, but... What's it say? What's it say? <laughs> um... Be sure to drink your Ovaltine. God damn it! It says, help, I'm trapped in a Hihaku Soaps warehouse on or factory near Hon o Hon Onji Bridge. It's son of a bitch you're thinking of. Oh, right. Huh? Hihaku? Mm. Why would somebody send me mm. s such a message? Mm. Am I being pranked? Mm. Yeah, no, this is too fishy to be a coincidence. I wouldn't put it past Ihaku to have someone locked up if it got anything to do with procuring the right. We should check it. We should check it out. Hopefully we don't find anything too sinister. No, oh, no. Cut something to them sinister. finding something sinister. <laughs> Honoji, Hon Hoonji Bridge. There we go. This is how we finish the investigation for good. Ah. Me likey, me likey. Now we can examine the factory again. Yep. Looking around to determine the abandoned factory is indeed Hihaku's. An abandoned factory near the Hoanji Bridge. Everything lines up. So the person who faxed us for help is in there. Let's find out. If there's nothing, we should wrap up fast. Mm, but isn't this place locked? Fuck! <laughs> don't underestimate don't underest me, ma'am. Mm -mm. I can make sure work of a simple little lock like this. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> you truly are something else. <laughs> Please be careful then. Also, here's a <laughs> hammer. <laughs> no, no, I got... I got I got it's fine. God damn it! Failed again! Punches the door, the lock just snaps off. <laughs> and there we go. Now. So now. We resume darkness. Can we escape? All right. Well, we're gonna. We just sent the facts at this point. Right, so now we, we sent just the need facts. To, uh, just gotta wait around for help to come. Let's look around the room some more, so we can find anything else. Like uh, what's in the desk drawer? Let's look, there's anything in the top drawer? How about the middle drawer? Some kind of note in the middle drawer. Alkabenzene, benzalkonium chloride, sulfonic acid, sodium hydroxide. Jesus. Names of chemicals. Maybe this is some kind of chemical plant. Nothing in the bottom drawer. Wow, that was no, extremely wait. nerdy. Something stuck way in the back. Hey, some kind of sticker in here. It looks like a delinquent penguin. Oh my god! Ah! Wait, is this this is that thing? Oh. Hajime, thanks for waiting. Oh, what's wrong? You're wasting that handsome face of yours looking like that. 
Huh? You think? I th I think I'm still plenty handsome. <laughs> Can't argue with that. Are you not meeting with that girl today? It told me, I mean. Nah. She's off doing who knows what. Well, now where she picked it up from, it's like, Hey, yeah, you know, fucking... Hey. I wanted to talk like my hero Hajime, you'll see me, you know? Yeah. That's too bad. I found a hair catalog I thought would be perfect for her. Seems like you're pretty worried about it. Yeah, she reminds me of myself at that age. I can't help but worry. You think? I'd say she's a little ball of sunshine compared to what you were like. Shut up. I'm talking emotionally. <laughs> she needs an adult who can understand how she feels. She's like a kitten. She thinks everyone around her is out to get her, so she bites at them all. Eh? Yeah, you might be right. So tell her I wanted to see her, will ya? Sure. I'll do that. But... <sighs> this other girl I ran into the other day is a tough case. Oh? She must really be something else if you don't know how to deal with her. No, it's not really that kind of thing. Some people just have so much misfortune thrown at them. What do you mean by that? Well, I can't really get into details. But she might have the talisman I've been looking for. Said it was a memento from her father. Could we really be related? But it's not like I can just take it from her. What are you mumbling about? Who's related to who? Oh, sorry, it's nothing. It's about that thing with your family, isn't it? Is she the one who has that piece of the book that your ancestor Fuck! left behind? Dude! Why you? When do you know that? God, I forget how dense you are sometimes. How long have we been dating now? Fifteen years? Besides, <laughs> you were the one who, who came crying to me about it when you got wasted that one time. I wasn't crying. But you were wasted, rambling about this old book you were supposed to inherit is hidden in those two talismans. That something was giving you a bad feeling about it and you need to be careful? Oh, right. That's all I know, though. And I wasn't planning to try and pry any further. But if something's important you need to protect, then what are you waffling about? I love waffles. Thanks, Mayu. I feel better now. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's right! Did you hear? The Mockingbirds were seen in Hanjo! Uh, huh? Yeah, that came out of nowhere. Mocking what now? It's an urban legend about these bird stickers that show up out of nowhere. I was always kind of curious about them, but I never thought they'd be in Hanjo. There may be a bunch showing up all over town, so we gotta keep an eye out! <laughs> you feeling alright? What's gotten into you? What's so special about these birds? Come on! One of them was a penguin with a pompadour! You can't tell me that is the greatest thing you've ever seen! <laughs> That's so dumb. I'm breaking up with you. And then I killed him. Dun dun dun! <sighs> That's right. I was trying to protect something left to him. That'd be the information that Hihaku wanted. Interesting. Well, that's a revelation. It certainly is. All right. And so we vanish and head back to the girls. I wonder if the people from Hihaku are there now. Hello. I could get something wrong, I may have. I think I need to examine some more things in uh, the darkness chapter. Oh, okay. Yeah, how these old visual novels are. This is taking a key back from like the late 80s, early 90s kind of visual novels. Be sure you check everything in one area before you move on to the next area. If you don't tick one thing, that means you can't tick the rest. And yeah, okay, that's empty now. Steel, Steel shelf. shelf. What's in here? Big old shelf. Cardboard boxes. boxes. There's also there. the uh, the cabinet up there. That, uh, switchboard. switchboard. Has electricity. Someone's using this place for something. We got that. Check the door. That'd be nice. Will someone come and save me? No. Yeah, I don't want to use it. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Gross fuck. Trash can? Anything in the garbage? Need to look for a way out. She? She? Ouch. Uh, hair ducks. 
I wish there was a sticker on the duck. Is there anything on the top of the desk? Not just the drawers? I mean, besides the pen. Nah. Okay. Now what? Duh. Well, let's look at the fact machine again. What could it be? And you can't do anything for the door, either? Oh, uh, think. I just remember that I heard the rules for the Red Resurrection when I got this curse stone. Killing other people to bring someone back? That's out of the question. Oh, good for her. Hajime would never accept sacrificing another person to come back himself. None of this was ever an option to begin with. The way we lived. Hey. Ever since we were kids, we were always ready to die if that's what it came to. We'd never take our foot off the gas just because we were scared of death. We were never such big fans of living anyways. That's why we were always prepared for it. I just used to wonder if we took things a little too lightly. Hmm? That's just how much we trusted each other. So I have no use for some shitty right. And that's the truth, Hajime. I hear ya. Huh? There. So, Mayu's not gonna use the curse that was given to her. Ever. He, Hihaku was planning on her being, Oh yeah, I'm gonna- Oh, my fiance's dead, I'm gonna use the right of resurrection! Yikes. She's like, yeah, no, fuck that. Fuck We're that. not gonna do that. So now we can do our last remaining chapter. Let's do this. That should be... Cracks Knuckles. Let's do this. And then Hihaku Soaps just explodes. Huh? Huh? What is it? The person coming this way. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? That tall guy? Do you know him? Yeah, from a little while back. Oh, shit. Mr. Yumioka, over here! No, 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 no. He's bad. I hate him. No. Mm hmm? Oh. You're Gamyoto's manager, Mr. Yumioka, yes? Good to see you again. Miss... Miss Kurosuzu. What a coincidence running into you here. Hmm, Gamyoto, Yumioka. Uh. <laughs> How have things been since we last met? If she stays here with her- if she just stays with the training, she won't have to rely on cheating people anymore. Yes, she has been keeping at it. Cheating people? Oh. Miss Kurosuzu, so glad to see you are doing well. I, I assure you we've had no issues you need c concern yourself with. <laughs> wow, he's actually shooken up. You gotta tell me what happened. <laughs> a case from a while back. A family overseeing a, rel a reliquary came to us saying they were being investigated by someone suspicious. Investigated? A psychic named Suigen Gamyoto suddenly showed up. She said that she had a premonition that something terrible would happen and had to exorcise the temple immediately. Sounds like a cover for a burglary. After they notified the police, I was dispatched there by Paranormal Affairs. I inspected the place myself, but didn't see anything wrong, so I, I sent them away. He acted as Ganmyoto's manager during the case. That is pretty suspicious. Apparently she was looking for something there, but I told her that's no excuse for fraud and sent her off with a scolding. And honestly, Gamyoto didn't even have much spirit sense to speak of, which soured my mood on the whole thing. Mm, right, so she was one of those types then. Uh, she's involved in all kinds of stuff, so she may at least be knowledgeable about paranormal objects or something. Hmm. There's the info we needed. So why are you scared, mate? Why are you scared? But essentially, she's one of those fraudulent psychics that are so common nowadays. Are we talking about his wife or his manager? His manager. If you had no further business with me, then I'll be on my- Oh, before you go- Oh, no! Gamyoto seemed to know a lot about paranormal objects. It would be a huge help if we could ask her about something. And what might that be? Is she familiar with an ancient text called the Record of Phatian Scroll? Oh, no. Or anything about the descendants of an Onmyoji named Seimen Suchi Mikado? Oh, my god. I beg your pardon. <laughs> Kurosuzu, how do you... So you do know about it? I see. If that's what you're after, then that means... Hold it! D <laughs> don't tell me you're trying to snatch up some innocent schoolgirls this time! Stop right there! Huh? huh? <gasps> if it isn't you, Miyoka, what a pleasure to see you again! 
What? what? Mayu Chozawa? What are you doing here? Huh? Chozawa? This investigator here helped me out. Yeah. He really did a number on me. Uh, what you? What do you know? We just hap just so happen to have some business with Hihaku ourselves. Why don't you join us? <laughs> you can do that much for us, can't you? You work for Hihaku after all. Depending on how this conversation goes, <laughs> I won't have to get the police involved. Yes! Huh? You work for Hihaku? What's going on? Uh, oh. I should leave. There's really no way you can refuse, though, is there? You two young ladies must be involved as well. Would you care to join us? Oh, um, sure. Oh, I love it. Get everybody together, get the entire cast present. Quite the view, isn't it? How long can you play dumb with this many people lined up and wanting answers from you? You better just give up and come clean with everything you know! <clears throat> uh, oh, can we actually turn our full head to talk to everybody? Yeah! <laughs> no, Harare is, Harare is here too. I'll start, I'll start with my... I'll cut to the chase then. Are you the one who killed Hajime Yoshimi? No, we did not. Don't try and play dumb now! If it's not you, then who? That much I don't know. While it is true that we were after the information he possessed, he was killed by someone else before we could acquire it. Which forced us to talk at you instead, Mr. Zawa. Chit. That's why you forced me to talk and why I ended up with this curse, huh? Indeed, though I never thought you would escape. Well, it took a couple of miracles, but yeah, I got out. Yeah, miracles. And just what information did Hajime have that you wanted? Mm. Did you really think you can get away without answering now? <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, talk him down. Fine, I'll let someone else ask you something for now. Nice. For now then, I've come to hand over the haunting clappers, Curse Stone, like I promised. A Curse Stone? Thank you. I have to admit, I'm surprised that you are a man of your word. But first, I've got some questions about the curse yep. stones you already have. What exactly do you want to know? Earlier you said that Hihaku have collected six curse stones already. Six? Six? I'd like to confirm which of the seven mysteries they correspond to. And why do you need to know that? Because I don't trust, of course! If you really collected them, like you say, you'd have no problem saying which curse stones they are, Ooh. right? Ooh. <laughs> What do you think, audience? Yeah, what do you <laughs> First, the Whispering Canal. Ooh! Good, good, and what else? Mayu Chozawa over there has the beckoning light. Yep, you were the one who made it sure I got it. What? Fortunately for you, I don't feel like handing it over. So I don't think it counts as one of yours. <laughs> good to know. Anyway, do continue. Next, there's the Everburning Lantern, which we gave to Hideki Araishi. Okay. So you consider that one of Hihaku's, then. Whatever, we'll worry about that later. That's three. What about the others? Well, the, 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 the others are... Mm. Uh, uh, the, 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 the foot-washing mansion and the, the evergreen beach. What? And lastly, the fool's procession, if I recall. Wow. So you claim. How about it, mademoiselle? That's wrong. Those three are with Inspector Sutsumi. I gave the fool's procession to him myself, so I know he's wrong. There you have it. Too bad for you, pal. <laughs> if our agreement was founded on lies, then I have no duty to hand over yep. my curse stone like I promised. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Meaning the only curse stone you have is the Whispering Canal. Mm. And it, inev it inevitably follows that you used it to kill that young man at Kinshibori Park. Such a horrible act, and to your own employee, no less. There you are mistaken. To be entirely frank with you, we do not possess a single <gasps> curse stone. Ooh, what? We plan to collect soul drags using any method available to us, and of course we needed as we needed the right. But committing murder ourselves was too much of a risk. I mean, we're I mean, we're a company, a con a, a large family-owned company. How bad do you think that we are? We intended on having others collect the soul drags for us. Is that so? Therefore, I must- I myself have no soul drags in my possession. It was our plan to arrange for particularly greedy individuals to receive the curses. What? Ooh. It's possible Shogo Okie came to possess the Whispering Canal because of that. But by the time I became aware of this, he was already dead. 
I don't believe you. Are you really trying to talk your way out of this now? Or do you really want me to believe a Hihaku employee was cursed by complete coincidence? That is the truth, whether you believe me or not. It must have been someone else entirely who took Shogo Oki's stone and killed him. I have no idea whatsoever whose hands the Whispering Canal is in now, nor where it might be. Yeah. Well, oh, could it really be? Then it wasn't Hihaku who put the idea in Fubichika Nijima's head to get a curse stone either. Nijima? The only ones we've negotiated with are uh, Iwai and Araishi. Ooh. Interesting. Excuse me, but does that mean you don't know the location of the remaining curse stones either? There's one that hasn't been mentioned. What about the Taiko of Sugaru? Ooh, good question, my mysterious mademoiselle. Stop. <laughs> I'm afraid we have no information in that regard either. Yeah! Have you heard enough about curse stones? I have nothing else to tell you. Hmm. Okay. Uh, who's next? Excuse me, Mr. Investigator? What is it, mademoiselle? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Would you be willing to give up the curse stone you have? Ah, yes, you have a point. They're too dangerous to carelessly walk around with in one's pocket. However, sorry to disappoint you, that's not possible at the moment. And why is that? Ah, uh, you don't know? Then I'll tell you both you and our friend from Hiyaku over there. Mm hmm? I doubt any of you have attempted it yet. But it seems that curse stones cannot be given to normal people. Huh? What? What? Oh. I actually tested it with the madame here earlier. Even if you give the curse stone to someone else, the curse bearer doesn't change, and the stone eventually makes its way back to the bearer. It's almost obvious when you think about it, seeing as how the curse stones appeared to the curse bearers of their own accord to begin with. But Inspector Tsutsumi had collected curse stones from other curse bearers. Then Inspector Tsutsumi must be a curse bearer himself. Oh, that kind of makes sense. Ah. That... Actually makes a lot of sense. So for what you think, that guy's gonna only be transferred between curse bearers? And attending a curse stone alone doesn't make someone a curse bearer, so they can't use its curse? Correct. Exactly, so they aren't quite as dangerous as you think. As for Hiha Hihaku's intentions of just collecting the curse stones for themselves, unfortunately for them, it was never going to work unless there was a curse bearer among them. Ooh. Her <laughs> Damn Araishi, how could he not know this? That must be why I sensed that I couldn't take Yako's cursed stone. I returned it right away when I borrowed it from her earlier. That's precisely how it works, my mysterious mademoiselle. I, I'll give mine directly to Inspector Tsutsumi later. If you know Inspector Tsutsumi, then I think that's best. Thank you. Nice lie. I love it. Excuse me, I had no idea that Gam Yoda was connected with Hihaku. So I'd just like to ask. Was it Miss Yamamori from Hihaku who obtained the Record of Fates and passed it to uh, onto Araishi? No, that was not the case. Oh, that was sick. <laughs> was it Sweet and Gamyoto's doing then? No, it was not. What? We first learned of the Record of Fates from Mr. Araishi. It was then that Mrs. Yamamori gained an interest and extended a contract to compensate him in return for his research and findings. Then who was it that activated the Feast of Shadows to call forth the Curse of the Seven Mysteries? I give you my word that we had no part in that. We had learned from Araishi beforehand that something would happen at midnight last night, that is all. Ooh, hey! There's no way that's true! Stop lying! Uh, I must ask you that you please refrain from violence. <laughs> Hold on, Yako, it's alright. Yeah, I wanna hit him. The minute I learned that Gam Yoda was none other than the Queen of Hihaku herself, I felt that was the case. She doesn't have strong enough spirit sense for it. <gasps> oh, gotcha. Uh, while it is somewhat shameful, if you require proof, then so be it. What, so that talk of supernatural powers was just hot air? I don't think she has zero spirit sense, but even Yako here has more than her. Wow, I do? Also, the spirit power lingering in this park has been bothering me for so quite some time. The person who died here must have had considerably powerful spirit sense. If they were a Hihaku employee, then maybe they should have been the one running things. Oh. My, to think Shogo Okie was so talented. Oh, they lost their chance when Shogo died. At any rate, Hihaku wasn't the mastermind behind <laughs> exposing the record of fates of the world and, and initiating the Feast of Shadows. I think we can be sure about that. Hmm, all right. I still love that Yako's just participating by being the muscle. And you know about the record of fates Yin Scroll too, don't you? If you were researching the Rite of Resurrection in the Record of Fates, then you must have looked in the Yin Scroll as well. That's right, the Record of Fates alone wasn't enough to learn how to collect soul dragons. I'm sure you looked into many things on your own, but how much do you actually know? Urk. Urk. <laughs> who and where... 
Who, who and where Sim and Tsuchi Mikado's descendants are? Were you able to find that sort of information with Gamyoto's connections? I can't reveal that. Then would you prefer I expose the public how Gamyoto was a fraud with almost zero <gasps> spirit sense? Blackmail. Irk. <laughs> I'm gonna get Fine, I understand. I'm gonna get so fired after this. From the results of our independent research, found that Seima and Tsuchimi Koto was Hajime Yoshimi. Called it! What? So that's why you went after Hajime! However, Hajime Yoshimi was only carrying a fragment of the whole. A fragment? That's right. That's right! He did say I'm doing like eight characters at once. I know, I know. It's just tag He did say something about a fragment of an old manuscript! Tag me in if you want me to give you one of the The Yin scroll was hidden. This information was split into two and hidden in a pair of talismans, which were then passed down from generation to generation. <gasps> a talismans! I see. Hajime Yoshimi was supposed to have won, but it was almost certainly stolen when he was killed. It is possible that he knew the location of the other as well. So that's why you questioned me about the things he inherited. The girl Hajime had been helping recently must have had it then. Ooh! Oh! Michio's talisman! <laughs> Yes, Michio Shirashi was also likely a descendant of <laughs> Seima and Tsuchi Mikado. What? The talisman she carried as a keepsake from her father. We searched it for her. We, we searched for it based on Miss Chozawa's memories. However, Michio Shirashi was already dead. Yes, mm. by coincidence, she happened to be closely connected to Mr. Iwai, so we began our investigation there. But he was already dead too, leaving you in a quandary. Hmm. I see. Mio, if we can get both of the talismans... Yep, we'll know the location of the record of Fate's Yen Scroll. Wow, sometimes the answer is right under your nose. It's in this park, isn't it? Sometimes those answers are the hardest to find. Hooray! Yako, let's keep quiet about the location of the talismans for now, okay? Ah, oh, right, no need for Yumioka to know. That was a close one, I almost let it slip. Okay, I think that's all we have to ask him. We'll let you off for today since you went along with our questions nicely. Oh, thank you. A pleasure working with you. We're done here. Uh, but the information you have... The hell are you whining about? I said we're done, so scram! <laughs> Later! That's all our business as well, so I shall be bidding you all farewell. What? Yes, right. Excuse me, Mr. Investigator. Please don't forget about that curse stone. Oh. Don't you fret. I'll hand it over to, to Inspector Tsutsumi like I promised. I'm glad I didn't end up having to give it to Yumioka. Let's take our leave, madame. With this, we'll be freed from this troublesome curse ourselves. <laughs> I just realized since they never learned Haruwe's name, she came up as client. Interesting. Hmm. That lady and the investigator. We should keep an eye on Agreed. Really? Why? I think they're up to something. Just my intuition, but still. Yeah, I wonder what that investigator really wanted out of all this. If his goal was getting that information about the curse stones, then this might be bad. Oh, man. Oh, right. I got one of those curse stones, too. The beckoning light. Oh, right. If you wouldn't mind, would you give it to Inspector Tsutsumi without using it? Yeah, sure. If you introduce me to the cop, that is. I feel like if I keep carrying it around with me, I'll start getting some weird ideas, too. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah, I just remembered! Mayu, I have something important to tell you! Whoa, it's all the yelling all of a sudden! I all wanted to yell! You know a girl named Hitomi Okuda, don't you? No, and no, 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 no. And so they explain. No, 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 no. Really? Hitomi has Hajime's talisman? Yes, he entrusted it to her in a panic just before his death. He sensed an imminent crisis closing in on him, but Hitomi was the only one around that he could ask for help. And so, I'm sorry she got left with such a big responsibility. But she doesn't know it. That must mean that Hyajime got killed by someone who was after that talisman. But since he gave it to someone else, they couldn't steal like they wanted. I'll have to thank Hitomi for that. Um, I also think it's going to be hard for us to get her to give up the talisman. Yeah, you might be right. It was Hyajime's dying request to her. So you two need the talisman for something? Yeah. Hmm. Personally, I like to use the talisman as bait. <laughs> then I can get my hands on the bastard that killed Hajime. Please, I promise we'll uncover the mastermind behind all this. Okay, yeah, I like my you. They probably have supernatural abilities at their disposal. Please leave them to us. Yeah, we'll catch them, don't you worry. 
Now look at that. You've got that look in your eyes. That look that young people get that says they'll get something done no matter what it takes. How am I supposed to say no to that? You go find them and give them what they deserve for what they did to my Hajime, you hear? We will. <laughs> I'm pretty mad at them myself. Fuck them up! <laughs> if I just work on them, I'll give them a good one. <laughs> now that I can get behind. I'll leave it to you two. Now then, your next move should be to find Hitomi and get that talisman. So, isn't there one more talisman that you need? Right, but we've got a pretty good idea of where that one Michio hat is. Ooh, yeah! We'll have to check in with Inspector Satsumi about that. We should go back to the school and call him. You got it. Okay, I'll head to the high school now and wait for you there. Perfect. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. The edges of the string are oh. finally coming to the end. Oh. So we've got preparing for battle and <laughs> the last resort. Oh, shit! <laughs> We're get we uh, we're getting down to the wire now. We've you know, by clearing this chapter, we have unlocked the end game, I suppose. And now we're gonna get down to the thrilling conclusion that this game promises. We'll see you next week and next time for Paranorma Sight. <laughs> <laughs>